how to use styles with objects such as shapes etc to create designs like this super colorful designs like this in affinity photo go to the tools panel and select any of the shapes i'm going to go with a star design just create that any color doesn't particularly matter because i'm going to color it later you can set number of points etc as well as obviously the fill and stroke however what i'm going to do layers panel and that's in the view menu studio and layers like all the other swatches as well and go down here to effects just down here click and then you can see outer shadow i'm just going to go for an outer shadow highlight it and select and drag the radius offset and intensity to create a shadow also you can add 3d so just click there and again highlight it and just drag the radius now i'm not going to add any color gradient overlay you could do that just as well you could add all of them if you wish click close however what i'm going to do just going to go over here select the paintbrush tool i'm using inks so i've got my inks up here I'm just going to select one of these so select one of those and set the color via the swatches and just apply and you can apply all kinds of different maybe circles square designs lines change the color I'd go with blues, select a different brush, apply that, go down there, select no one, and whole range of different, obviously the colors you create will be different from this one. And you can see, just make certain the ends, I think it's nice to actually with stars to have the ends, there, the points, colored. Right, so you've got that and you can add, let's say, dabs of color, etc. However, now what I want to do, is I want to rasterize it because I can't save this as a brush stroke. I can save the pixel. The pixel layer can be saved, but what you need to do is select the star. So go to layer and rasterize. And it will come up with thing because I'm adding styles and I could, let's like say, I could have had 10 or 15, obviously lots of styles to it. Preserve layer effect, just turn that off and rasterize. So it all becomes a solid pixel layer. Now I'm going to go here, the style brushes, it's a category I created, simply create it via this, create new category, and then you can rename it. So just put it here. So down here, right side, and new brush from selection. This is what's selected. Go there, and with that, you can see it's added there. Now at this point, I'm just going to remove this. I don't need this anymore. I could, of course, apply some more colors and create another brush perfectly reasonable as well however i'm going to remove that and select that go to the paintbrush tool and now you've got your styled paintbrush now you'll see what happens here sometimes it's set to wet edges i never like that one so i'm just going to deselect that and then you can see the actual brush now you can edit this just go double click this and you can change here wet edges don't set wet edges for some reason it always sets wet edges even that set to my mind, it should never be on, but so set wedges, wet edges off. Right, size, just reduce that down. Don't have it that big. Dynamics and there. And also what you can do, rotation. I love rotation. So rotation rotates all the colors. And also if you want, you can add huge jitter in there so you can create all the colors will be changing as well. Go here and you can set maybe spacing so it's really crunched up and close and then apply it again wet edges turn it off otherwise you end up having a bit of transparency there which i never like this doesn't look right and then you can just apply it very rapidly like that and it will obviously make small depending on i'm using an art pad and pen if you're using a mouse i just use a mouse now so you can see like that and you can see the design there Literally thousands of possible designs are created using this approach. And of course you can vary the brush. It doesn't have to be a star, it could be a circle, it could be any of the shapes, or it could be a design created using the selection tools, etc. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.